Okay, YouTube, it's uh, Tuesday. It's um, July 26, 86 degrees in here. And got a couple things going on. But got a new thing we finna start on. Just got this truck in. It's kinda, um, it's kinda like in rough, it's a little rough, but you know. Yes, what it is. We're going to try to do something about this situation. Um, yeah, we're going to try to make it look decent. So we're going to... Uh, I got a couple things I got to do today. Um... Got some cars I gotta go pick up that I had bought from the auction, so I'm gonna get started on it a little later on. But like I said, I got a couple, got a lot going on, so I'm gonna run on over here and uh, I'm gonna get up, and go start picking up these cars and get them in rotation, get them to the house, and then I should be able to start breaking this down and getting it ready to get started on. And it's it's not gonna be no one or two day project nothing like that man i'm gonna take my time because i ever since this cover stuff man i still ain't got my breathing and stuff technique down real good so we're gonna uh i'm gonna just take my time and work on it as i can as i go and when i have to take a break i have to take a break but uh we will get this thing sanded down and Got a couple of little dings and this and stuff I'm gonna take out. But other than that, hey, we're gonna go ahead and make it do what it do. So we'll holler back. Peace. Okay, YouTube, give y'all a little update on what's going on. We done took, uh, start taking, we done took the lights out the truck. And we got this, uh, some filler on this spot. A couple spots back here that we're going to fix, but there ain't no way we're going to be able to fix it all. I mean, it's still got a lot of stuff on this truck, but we just going to do the best that we can to try to get it straight enough for this young man. Oh, this is a young man's truck. Uh, he's in high school, um, and uh, we're going to try to make it look real good for him. And as you can see, we are already sanding the hood and all of this up in the front's been sanded. Not this side of the hood yet, but in this fender. And what I tried, I'm finna have to, I was trying to keep it smooth and simple. To try to save some work, but it's taking so long. I was trying to knock these stripes, these these um, stripes so thick, man. This is a really thick stripe. So I was trying to do it with some 220 to keep from putting some grooves in it. But man, I'm finna have to just go and knock it down with some 80 or something. And just go and knock these stripes out the way. And then I just have to come back and smooth it out. But uh yeah, it's taking too long. So So we just gonna go ahead and uh put some 80 grit. See we've been using 220. I've been sanding the hood and stuff with 320. Right, this is uh, 320 right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take some of this 80 grit and I'm gonna knock this, I'm gonna knock this on out real. Just go and get it out of the way. I just have to come back and get it smooth. Uh, it's just taking too long like that, so. But just giving y'all an update, man. We're going to, um, been a real busy day. I picked up a couple of more vehicles from the auction today. I told y'all I had to go get some. This truck will be coming soon. I picked it up. It's 2500 series. We're going to do a transformation on it. Probably, after I get through with this truck, I'm going to go ahead and transform this truck to something totally different. So y'all just stay tuned for that. We gonna uh, we gonna change it up real good, make it look pretty really nice. And I picked this up from the auction today, and it need brakes all the way around. So putting brakes on the back, brakes on the front, and plus I'm trying to work on this truck, man. It's just hey, just glad to be back in the swing of things, man. And uh, I got another one sitting here that I got a ten two as far as like <clears throat> getting it ready to sell too. I got it from the auction uh, a couple weeks ago. Nah, I take that back. I got this from the auction before I even got sick. So it's been here for a while. So, 
Got some stuff to do to that too. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna be working like at nighttime, mostly on this truck right here. Cause I've been tied up inside the shop all through the day and ripping and running. So, but we're gonna get it done. But I ain't gonna get it done talking. So let me get back to work. We'll holler back. Okay, give y'all a little update. Got all the stripes off for it. And plus I hit all these. I'm hitting all the rough. Y'all know how I do. I always hit the rough parts first. And that was the roughest parts of the truck. It's all this around here. And up here. And then it's going to be a real rough up here on the top. Got some. Well, not real rough, but. I'm going to probably knock it down with some 80. Make that knock on off. But we got all the, got all the pinstripe off of it. And so I don't know man we're gonna keep on knocking it down and get this knocked down to try to get it smooth but start taking all these emblems off and all this kind of stuff so but we got a good start on it for the first day but uh I'm gonna stay busy I'll holler back at y'all okay YouTube it's day two on this uh, Ford Ranger truck. And as you can see, we've been working this whole side real good. Got all the side, all the emblems, and all these little side pieces ain't going back on. Um, so what I did, I had to knock it down real good so it won't show, get all that glue off. All that, I got the other side the same way, which I already took the, uh, the moldings off. And we got this sanded down real smooth. We done knocked this, um, this dent down too. We still got some work to do with that, but that's later on. I just wanted to get it smooth enough to um, where I can do the sanding on everything. But uh, that's what we had on day two, man. Looking pretty good. Um, like I said, I'm not rushing this project at all. Um, man, we having some serious heat down here. In Alabama, man, and I'm just trying to, and I just got over this COVID stuff, man, so I'm still trying to get myself together. Uh, but, man, it's, it's coming along real. It's a, uh, it don't look like, but it's a lot to do to, to get all this glue and all this stuff off and try to make it not ever, make it look like it ain't never been there. So, that's what we're at today. And I'm going to try to go ahead. Now y'all can see the glue that's on there on this side and all them little things just glue all this is, is just glue and all this stuff so trying to knock it down like i said i hadn't done this side yet but uh we'll get to it but this side has came really really good really good for what we're trying to do so we're gonna keep it moving man i'll just give y'all a little update um, so, yeah, let me get back to work. I got to keep it moving. Okay, YouTube, it's still day two on this project. And as y'all can see, we done already knocked this side down. With some, I went on, I went ahead and done 220 on this side. Um, cause I wanted to knock it down pretty good. I'm on, I done 320 on the other side, but I'm gonna come back and do 320 again on this side and make it real smooth. But I was trying to knock it down real quick. And then I just come back and go over it with some 320. Um, but we got, the only thing we got left to, to knock down is the bed, tailgate I mean. And I gotta go in here. The reason I'm trying to do this in, in, in order like this because I'm gonna have to spend a whole day probably on this part right here. Cause I just can't let it leave looking like that. So, which that's, it's not part of the plan, but it's part of my plan. Um, I hate to put a fresh paint job on it and it's looking like this on the inside. So we'll figure that out. And uh, it's a real bad spot up there. And I'm not ready to sand it down, got it feathered edge. So we'll just come back and hit the whole top with 320 
and then we'll have everything pretty much knocked down pretty good. And then we'll come back and we'll concentrate on this little spot right here even more, which is looking pretty good, but I'm gonna just spend a little time with it to make sure it's straight. And then hopefully, no later than Saturday, I should be taping her down, getting her ready for primer. Um, so that's where we at. So it's going pretty smooth. Um, but we just taking our time. Uh, not rushing. But, I mean, it's coming along pretty, pretty fast for two days still, regardless. So, hey, it is what it is. So, this is what we got, man. So we'll holler back at y'all on day two. We'll holler back. Hey, YouTube, it's uh, Thursday, 642, 89, <clears throat> July the 28th. And we on day three on this truck out here. I'm in the other building. Um, I'm gonna show y'all what we got going on so far. I've been working on this top. As you can see, I got half of it done. Um, and a spot up in the front got it knocked down real good but when I started sanding on this back part see this is what you gotta man you never know what you're gonna get yourself into when you start on stuff that you know cause it looked like what somebody tried to do it looked like somebody tried to sp spray paint this tailgate with maybe a can of paint that's what it looked like the way it's coming off it's got to be a can of paint. And you see now, just from somebody doing that, now I got to swap over to some 80 grit and I got to knock this all the way down because if I put paint on top of this, it's just going to, it's going to flake off, man. It's because it's just coming off in chunks, man. It's just everywhere I touch is just the paint. Just, it's just falling off, man. So this is the kind of stuff that you got to, you know pay attention to it's just create just create extra work man when you ain't you know when you ain't signed up for for this kind of situation i mean i don't know who or why somebody would just try to paint this tailgate with some spray it look like a, it's got, it had to be a can of spray paint because it real paint ain't gonna just uh the way it's coming off man it's, it's super thin and it's, it's got to be it's got to be a can it's got to be a spray can so I'm finna swap it up, man. I'm finna go down to some 80 and then try to knock this down and then I'm gonna have to get it smooth again. So, but anyway, that's, hey, that's what we got going on, man. Um, so let's go ahead and try to get that done because I, I was planning on getting into this bed today, but I wasn't planning on this right here. So we'll see how it work out. We'll holler back. Okay, this is something else I wanted y'all to see. So in case y'all run, run into it. After I knock the paint down up under all this stuff. First of all, it's a lot of dents right here. Once it get knocked down. And then somebody got a whole... All this is just runs up under the other paint. See, that's why you got to get all that stuff off. And it's still probably going to show up. I done done this before. Um, but that's what you get. Once I, once I start taking the paint down, then you got runs all up under here, man. And dents all up under here. So, um, but that's part, hey, that's, that's part of this, of this process. And, um, but now, instead of just, you know, coming around, knocking it down, getting it done, getting it smooth. Now you gotta take this all the way down like this. So, it's just time consuming, but hey, we finna knock, we gonna keep going and keep going until I get it all down. So, um, cause man, I can't take no chance on, I, I, I can't paint over there. It ain't no way. It ain't no way. And see, that's what, you know, when you're dealing with people, you know, customers, they think it ain't no, ain't nothing wrong. It's a, ain't nothing wrong. You ain't got to just sand and paint. 
Man, it's hardly ever. Hardly ever. Unless it's a brand new, kind of like 2013, 14, 15 or something. That you can pretty much just sand and paint. Um, most of this old stuff, man, is, is hidden stuff, man. Once you get started, hey, you know, you can you can go on for for a month if you want to. Uh, you just got to stop somewhere and just say enough is enough. But anyway, let's keep it moving, man. I'm going to go ahead and try to knock this tailgate out. Okay, as I was saying. But you know, we ran into this problem last night. Got that straight. Sanded down the bed. Now, we am going to take this bump off. Um, it just, man, this just keep going and going and going. But hey, it is what it is. But we are now already started taping. Uh, getting ready to tape everything. We got most of the tape. I got to, I got to figure out how to get these, uh, these wipers. They don't, I thought they would have came up like Chevrolet wipers, but they don't. So, I'm going to go in there and Google it and see how to take these forward. Because they don't just pull off like the, uh, when you open the Chevrolet thing all the way up, they just pop off. But these ain't just popping off. So, I'm going to go in there and figure that out. But we should be, uh, we on schedule. So, we should be. Even with the little extra stuff I'm doing, we still should be uh, going in primer tomorrow to try to get everything uniform. And I might go ahead and do this bed liner um, tomorrow too. Uh, I'm going to see. Um, I'm going to try to get all the stuff together. Because like I said, man, it's just it's just extra stuff. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. It's a young man in high school, so hey, I'm going to try to help him out. So that's what this all about. You know, it's, a lot of times it ain't about money. It's about what you do for people. So, hey, we're going to ride this thing out. We done already got started, so we're just going to ride it out to the end. But uh, she coming along good, and I'll holler back at y'all. Okay, YouTube, it's Saturday. Um, I'm going to try to get this truck in primer today, as you can see. What I done, I went and got some real big garbage bags because the tires and rims so big. I just went ahead and um, just to cover them all up so I won't have to try to worry about it so I just jacked it I just jacked the truck up and wrapped the, each tire and then just set it back down on top of so can nothing get up in there and got everything I'm finna I'm gonna trust it I'm gonna go over it by hand one more time sand it but first I'm finna do something I told y'all last night that um I didn't like this bumper this bumper just so jacked up but I just can't leave it like this because it's going to, man, it's just going to make the truck look terrible. So I'm going to try to do something about that now before I even start priming anything else. And plus I am going to do the bed today too, I'm hoping. But it's real sunny right now, but we got a lot of chance of rain for the next couple, two or three days. Which, you know, y'all everybody know I do not paint in the rain because it's just a waste of time. In this kind of heat, this stuff just going to run everywhere. But I'm gonna go ahead and get them primer today and see how the weather be. And um and we'll get it done. But first we're gonna do something about this bumper. Um, I'll let y'all see how it turn out in a minute. Um uh, I went to the store and bought some stuff I'm gonna put on here. We'll holler back. Okay, y'all, we got this bumper done. And it look a whole lot better. Whole lot better. So now I'm gonna wrap it up so that I don't get primer and paint all over it. So, here we go with some more work. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this going. But that's what we got. That look a whole lot better than what we had. We'll holler back. Okay, as y'all can see, it's raining now. But, we're gonna go ahead and get a, um, some primer on, regardless. So, I'll get y'all a little footage of that. Let's swap hands. Alright. I'm going to try to see how it's going on.
going on good, as y'all can see. I'll give y'all a little bit more. coming down. I'm going to go ahead and uh, knock this out right quick. And we'll get y'all some more footage, but I'm going to go ahead and knock it out. We'll holler back. Okay, YouTube. We got everything climbed up. And now it's our uh, unified. That's what we want. We want it to be unified, so when we put this red on, it won't be so obvious that we change the color. So, hey, Got everything unified. Even this tailgate that looked like something else even turned out really good. So the extra work, it, it pays off. You just go ahead and do that extra little work. So that's what we at. And this is what we got. Of course the top and everything. And I will be, if it, the rain calm down some, and this get real dry, where I can tape it up, I'm going to go ahead and do that deadline uh, in a little while, if that's possible. But we're still getting, still getting quite a bit of rain over here, so. But, hey, we got the primer on. It's Saturday, so we making real good. That's what we wanted. Uh, I wanted to be right here on Saturday and if the weather permit If the weather permit maybe I can get a chance to spread tomorrow if the weather permit I don't know because we, we still got some chance of rain for the next couple of days But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let this get dry And then I'm gonna try to knock that bed out So if I can get to it if, if this get dry enough, then I can get to it I'll let y'all let y'all see how it's going down but we got it in from. There we go. We'll holler back. Okay, YouTube, it's uh, still Saturday. Um, 82 degrees. And we got a lot of stuff going on. Had to go pick up some seats and for this Tahoe out here. Been ripping and running. Plus, working on this truck at the same time. But I've done something totally different I had never done before. I was going to show y'all, see what y'all thought about it. Instead of just doing a regular black bed line I always do that I've been doing since day one, I want to try something different. So I made this red bed line of stuff. Um, I'm going to see how it worked. I mixed it up myself. Um, it ain't perfect, but it's a whole lot better than what we had in this bed. But I'm going to see how hard it gets. I'm going to just wait till tomorrow. Um, I can't step in it right now because it's wet. But if I need to, I can, um, I'm can. i going to put some more on in tomorrow sometime. So I can make it a little bit redder than what it is because it's still a little dark. But it's a bed. You don't want it to be the same as the truck because um, you want to be able to throw stuff back here. Um, and don't be worried about messing up no paint job. So that's what we shooting for. But I just want to be something like to match the truck. Instead of just being white and rusty back here. So we got this done. We got the bumper done. So once I get everything, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to keep this tape on though just in case I have to hit it one more time tomorrow. Which I think I'm going to hit it one more time anyway. So I'm going to hit it one more time. And then I got some little overspray up here. I'm going to have to knock it off, sand it down. And uh, but that's the only place I got it at is right here on the back. 
So it'd be real easy. Just knock it down and then get ready to paint this joker if the weather permitted. It's all about the weather though before I start spraying paint. It's all right to spray primer. Cause we got the, I got the doors open and all that stuff anyway. And this stuff easy to spray too cause it's not. But when you spraying paint, you don't want to spray it in the rain. Humidity. It don't work. It don't go together. But that's what we got, man. Uh, something different for me. And uh, we'll put some more on tomorrow. Make it pretty even. But to me, that look a whole lot better than just that white rust that was going to be in the truck. So we'll holler back. Okay, y'all, that's the, all the paint is on. Um, I'm gonna set it for a little while. Check the weather. Let's see how the weather do. The weather, if the rain don't come through, I'm gonna go ahead and clear it. But if not, I'm gonna just wait until I got a good day because I don't wanna start cleaning it in the rain. Um, but, but she looking real, looking real, real red. <laughs> I mean, she red. But uh, we gonna add a little something to it. Make it flip a little bit. When, uh, before it's over with. I got some footage. Man, I got uh, some footage of, of me painting it. But my phone, I guess my hands were sweaty. I don't know, I, I hit the stop button, but it just kept on going. By the time I realized it had been going for 30 minutes, so I'm not finna put that on unless I can figure out a way to break it down, um, which I don't, I ain't finna try to figure that out probably, cause, but I got a little footage of going on, um, but uh, it don't, y'all haven't seen me paint before, so it is what it is, but we'll holler back. Okay, YouTube, we finna put some clear on, I'm gonna let y'all see a little bit of that going on. Hold on for a minute. Okay, y'all see the first coat going on. It's going on smooth, looking good. I got some stuff flying around. And I'm sweating like crazy. I'm gonna need my other hand to wipe this sweat, so I just want to try to get a little bit of that footage. And I'll let y'all get some more in a little while. Hold on. Okay, y'all, finished product. Got the last coat of clear on. Looking really, really good. 
um, so far, I done walked around, I hadn't seen no runs or nothing, nowhere. Um, I've been searching and searching, and I just don't see any. So, thank God for that, we ain't got no runs, so hey. In this heat, and putting on this much clear, everything worked out, so. We ain't got no runs. I don't see not a one. So y'all, there we have it. There we have it. I, uh, I'm gonna let it sit. And I'll come out here later on, I start untaping it and try to put it back together before tomorrow so they can pick it up tomorrow, depending on the weather. See what, make sure they're gonna be raining and they can take it on in. We'll holler back.